Why did you tamper with the evidence? Are you sorry? 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 He was a journalist with a fearsome reputation who also fiercely guarded his identity, but he left court today in disgrace. Where Mazza Mahmood was unmasked as a liar and found guilty of misleading a court over one of his undercover stings. His former boss at the Sunday Times told me on this occasion he crossed a line. I've been amazed that it's taken so long to bring him to book. He sailed so close to the wind on so many occasions and he seems to have really skated on thin ice and got away with it. For 20 years, Mahmoud's stock was high, exposing the secrets of the rich and famous, making for explosive front page headlines. He targeted sports stars, royals and celebrities. But it was the pop singer Talisa who did for him. Talisa. She had been a judge on X Factor when he'd accused her of setting up a drugs deal, which she always denied. That sting operation took place at this London hotel, where Mahmoud posed as a film producer. Talisa said he duped her into believing that she would get a part in a Hollywood blockbuster. Today, he was found guilty of plotting to change a police statement to make her look guilty. What kind of an example are we setting to you know, the next generation to say, hey, in this day and age, what, what we're allowed to do is we're allowed to go out and try and um, convince and manipulate or even set up people to make it look like they're criminals when they're not. Mahmoud's stings led to dozens of people being jailed. Now he may see one of his own stings land him behind bars. Sejal Karia, News at 10.